Here today we have a virtual packet tracer simulator environment that we have used for agriculture based on IoT environment. Here we have got one temperature sensor, one humidity sensor that analyzes temperature and humidity respectively, respectively from plants based on this particular environment. Here we've got two MCU boards that determine the proper temperature and humidity and sends the data to humidity display and temperature display respectively. Here we also have some programmings and modifications done in MCU board. These programmings are done on JavaScript. Here we have temperature in between 25 degree and 20 degree Celsius which is adjusted in such a way as room temperature for sustainability of plants growing and development. For the, the main purpose of this is just to maintain the sustainability for plants to grow and develop in this sort of, envir this sort of environment by the help of IoT. Basically, MCU boards are the Raspberry Pis being used in the physical environment. But we have Packet Tracer as simulator that allows us to use MCU boards. Here, if the temperature goes above 25 degrees Celsius, the air cooler is turned on. And whenever it goes below 20 degrees Celsius, the heating element is turned on. We can notice that the heating element turns red whenever the temperature goes below 20. That means it's turned on. See? And whenever the temperature goes 25 degrees Celsius or more than that, air cooler happens the same as well. Here, we've got humidity sensor, humidity display, and we've got sensor here. When we have MCU board 2 to monitor this. I've used analog signals for temperature sensor to pass and digital signals for the elements to do the work. Here I've got analog signals to pass in between sensor and board. Here also I've done some programming based on JavaScript to program the humidity sensor and display the humidity that is on plants here. All of these items and devices are connected in a same network. The network's name is Wireless Gateway and the device name as well. All of these are connected in the same way. Here, they're getting the IP addresses from their wireless network. All of them. Here in the laptop, we can see the constant data displayed by the monitors. The constant temperature the rise and fall of the temperature there is certain glitch in humidity display the humidity display is shown very late in this particular program there is a glitch in this program in humidity display it shows but it shows up very late and the server server can also be accessed to see the temperature we can see the temperature from anywhere just we have to get connected to this network even though we are out of the field but connected to the same network we can monitor the temperature always and humidity of course here if the temperature if the humidity goes below 70 or above 80 following output is given unreadable humid level on the access device and when it is maintained it is given suitable humid level on the access device we can connect another device as well just to see the data there is no limitation to that and basically we have got some explanations here Temperature is being monitored by sensors being used, of course, here. Temperature is maintained by stabilizers. 
stabilizers here at around 20 degrees Celsius, which is suitable room temperature for the plants to grow and nourish very well. That's the main motive of us, using the IoT-based environment for agriculture sustainability. We can find out whether the plants are have the enough required temperature or humidity to grow in the environment so that agriculture can be sustained. Proper environment can be maintained. All devices are connected on the same network. Yes. So that the data can be accessed from anywhere. We can see the temperature rising now. So none of the elements are working. You've got lots of benefits of it. And humidity is measured by a sensor being used. Yes. And displayed here. We've got commands running here. We have got commands running here for humidity sensor. And defined outputs will be sent to the access devices for a suitable level that is being maintained in the environment. The sole purpose of this particular project is to maintain the sustainable temperature for plants to grow and nourish well and provide a better outcome in this irrigation environment. This is called monitored agriculture being under same network. The purpose is to maintain advanced agriculture environment by using IoT connecting devices in this environment. Thank you.